My name's Robert and I work at the Mills Observatory. I'm an amateur astronomer. So obviously there's no competition that my favourite object in the museum is the astrolabe. Uh, and what we're looking at here is the, the direct ancestor ba basically to the GPS navigation systems that we use today. The astrolabe here dates to 1555. This is actually the oldest one in existence. It was manufactured by Lopo Honem, who is a Portuguese instrument maker. We know that in the 1600s, it was owned by Andrew Smyton, who was a, a Dundee ship owner. This is my favourite object because I'm an amateur astronomer. We had things like the astrolabe before we had the telescope. So this predates the telescope. And so it is, a, it is an astronomical uh, instrument and it's used for navigation. But this, this version that we have in the McManus is, is known as a mariner's astrolabe. So rather than calculate the position of the moon and the planets, this one is used to get where you are basically. And what you, you would do is you can see that it's a heavy brass object and you've got like a, a ring at the top, so you would hold the astrolabe with the ring at the top, and because it's quite heavy, then it's going to be kind of flat, direct line of sight, and then you would use the, the marker, and what you do is you point it at a star, and then you would read off the scale, the angle, and then you would have a book with a table, and that would give you a rough estimate of where your latitude was, is where you were in the, in the world, you know.